Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here doing an updated crew review on the new Ranchilio Silvia. This is the most up-to-date version from Ranchilio, and there are a few changes, so we wanted to make a quick video and cover some of those changes, although most of it has stayed the same from previous models. So if you have more in-depth questions, check out those previous models. Let's get right into it. The biggest visual change you'll see is that the group cover on the new Sylvia is actually black instead of chrome. So that's the biggest visual tell. Sometimes the power switch up here will have a different logo on it, but we've noticed that they've kind of used the logo interchangeably from the previous version to this most current version. But if you notice, if you get your machine and the logo has a different switch on it, don't worry about it. Um, the black group cover is actually what distinguishes the two different models. The other uh, important thing to note is that the tamper is now this nicer tamper with the wood handle. So it just looks a little bit nicer. Um, definitely has a little better heft in your hand. It is 58 millimeters and it is flat, not convex or anything. A much needed upgrade over the previous plastic tampers that came with the Sylvia. This is the black edition, so it's just the case in black. Really matches that group cover nicely. But other than that, those are the two biggest changes, the group cover and then also the tamper. Um, the steam wand has not changed. Um, it's still the same, still comes with the one hole tip on it. But let's go ahead and brew some coffee all temperature surf. We can talk a little bit more while we're doing that. And that's all I got. So here we go. Just going to pull a little bit of water here. That looks good. Got my heating light on. And I am... I'm using the Rocky grinder today, and then I'm also using Hairbender from Stumptown. And I'm gonna try and get about 17 grams in this porta filter. We'll see if I can time it with the heating element turning off. Distribute that a little bit. I just heard that click off. Let's check. Looks good. Now. I made one last minute adjustment to this grind setting. So let's see how we do. Looks good so far. Got about eight grams at 10 seconds and I'm aiming for just around 30 grams out um, with this hair bender from Stumptown. This is one of my go-tos. Um, it's just kind of a, a standby. Um, right around 24 seconds and 31 grams out. If I usually look for a nice chocolate, some orange, some caramel from this, a pretty standard espresso. So I'll grab a cup uh, so we can taste it and I'll give you some more thoughts. Let's go ahead and taste. I have a fellow mug here, pour it in there. No need to stir because it already kind of stirred itself. Give it a sniff. Yeah, definitely getting a lot of the, the chocolate out of it, some more of the orange. Kind of like a chocolate covered orange, or maybe I'm just thinking towards the holidays. Yep, it's Hairbender. That's exactly what I expected, and I'm happy with that. Tastes pretty clean. Can't really go wrong with a setup like this. It's gonna last you a long time. And uh, the Rocky is a pretty versatile grinder. Uh, took me a little bit to get back into using it. I'm just dialing it in uh, again because it's been a little bit, a bit of time since I used it. But that's our updated uh, look at the Sylvia, the most current version of it. Uh, again, with the black group cover and then the updated tamper with the wood handle. 
Other than that, it stays about the same. So if you have more questions on it, check out some of our past videos on the Sylvia where we do some more deep dives on it. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of our content. Leave us a comment down below. I'll do my best to jump in there and check it out. And make sure to follow us across the rest of our social media channels so you can stay up to speed with what we're doing. Have a good one.